Danny, did you miss me? Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> it's good to be back. You're looking it great. Is. Oh, thank you. So are you. Can you believe Series 3? I know. They, homes. they let us back on. It's amazing, Ooh, isn't it? it? Well, big series ahead of us, so let's yeah. get cracking. Here's what's coming up on today's show. It's out with the old and in with the new. A vacuum you have to see to believe. How to choose your new dishwasher and what to look for. We've got some important advice on cleaning and protecting your tiles. And putting the claims to the test. Find out what our arborist really thinks of this new chainsaw. Easy and e e e easy. It's a beautiful day. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm gonna be just fine. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. heading to Diane and Marco's huge house. Yes. 10,000 feet ceilings. <laughs> yeah, it literally is amazing, spectacular, yeah. architecturally designed. Yeah. Beautiful everything. Yeah, everything's amazing. But as we always say, there are a few little bits and pieces that we can do to make things easier for the guys. I'm excited. Yeah, let's go. Good morning, Hello. Marco and Diane. You guys have got the most amazing house. Did you buy this built or did you build yourselves? Uh, built ourselves, yeah, oh. thank you. Yeah. And what, what were some of the things you wanted to achieve here? Uh, I think, look, just getting a little bit more room, open space, yep. natural lighting. Yeah, you've um, got windows everywhere. Yeah. When you built it, did you have a vision in mind for what you wanted? Because it's very clean, very minimalistic. Is that what you wanted to achieve? Yeah, I wanted more sort of modern, looks and you know not anything cluttered up yeah. well thanks for having us today yeah, um we've nice. got a Welcome. big day ahead i mean your house is immaculate yeah. but still a couple of things i reckon we can do around the place today what do you reckon yeah true i think so little things to help you out thank you So one of the great things I love about this place is how they finished the house off. So nice, clean, big white walls, the compressed bamboo floors. They're beautiful and all, but they're also very glossy, which means I reckon it's gonna be a daily challenge to stay on top of all the hair and all the grime and all the dust that's gonna fall off their family every single day. Now for all the bells and whistles on offer in this beautiful house, their vacuum cleaner has actually seen much better days. So this got me thinking, what are the alternatives available to homeowners to make vacuum cleaning a little bit easier? Especially when you consider all this stuff is just from Danny's belly button. Pat. Well, how good are you to meet you, mate. I'm very yeah. well, how are you? Yeah, good, good. Now, I want you to give me a hand today because we want to get rid of their old vacuum cleaner, which they keep dragging across the house and yep. marking their very nice floors. So, had a bit of a brainwave, and mm -hmm. I thought, how about we install like a central vacuum system? Yep. Tell me about this one. Okay, so here we have the power unit, and this is where all of the um, pipes underneath the house will run back to. So this is it, this is the actual vacuum cleaner itself, is the vacuum. That's right. And all the pipes then run under the house, come up through the walls, and we create little inlets, don't we, which exactly. you can just plug the pipe in. Yeah, plug the hose into the pipe. And, and the suction's good? Yeah, yeah, suction's excellent. I'm excited. Should we get cracking? We should. Just got a bit of clearance under the house, mate, which is good. Yeah, that yeah, makes a change. So, oh, here's where the unit is. Yep. Just under here. So, literally, what we're going to do, just bring the pipe through and then send it across. That's right. We'll push this pipe through the hole up to the main unit there. Yep. And then we have some saddles in that box there. Those. They're the ones. Yep. And then we'll just saddle the pipe to this timber here off to the main point. And that's it. Then that's it. Bring it up through the wall. That's right. I like it. All right, well, let's get cracking. Too easy. So while Pat's busy installing all of the pipe work under the house, I just wanted to show you this because we can't get inside the walls with the cameras to show you how it works. We've built a bit of a cross section of a wall. And basically, you score out a bit of shape in your plasterboard, and that just slots into there like this. So the second you connect your vacuum hose into this, it will activate the system and start the motors for you. So it's pretty good. So we're pretty much done here. We'll come back later on in the show and put this thing to the test.
Marco and Deanna have invested a lot of their hard-earned cash on the build of their new home, in particular this kitchen space. Now I really love it in here. They've gone for a neutral palette with easy to clean surfaces and it allows them to really put their own stamp on the space. All in all, I'd have to say that kitchens are my most favourite space to design and as a keen renovator, I try very, very hard to make sure they remain the heart of the home. You need style, you need space, but most of all, you need functionality. And I'm seeing it all too often these days, homeowners making the wrong choice when it comes to choosing the right appliances. You've really got to think it through. There's two things to consider. Functionality, which is key, I'd say. Think about your needs and the needs of your family. And number two, think about the aesthetics. Will your new appliance fit with your existing kitchen and the overall style of your home? Marco and Dana are in the market for a new dishwasher. They didn't bring their old one with them when they moved into this house. And as you can see, well, we've got a fairly sizable gap that we need to fill. So I thought we'd have a bit of a nosy at the current dishwasher market and find the best suited machine for their needs. Here we are, thank you. Now today I wanted to give you a bit of a guide as to what to look for in a new dishwasher. You don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on the latest and greatest whiz bang machine. Do your research. There are great brands out there for loads of different price points. But you might wanna look at investing just a little bit more to ensure you're getting the best quality machine that meets your needs. I went to the gym, Elios, today, what do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Oh, to... Looks very fancy. It does look fancy. Well, I'm going to let these guys finish off installing the new ASCO dishwasher. So join us later in the show where we put it through its paces. More Healthy Homes Australia after the break. Welcome back to Healthy Homes Australia. This is Walt and I'm Danny, and we would love to see your smiling faces on social media. So check us out, we're on Facebook and Instagram. Today we are at home with our viewer Marco yep. and his wife Dianne. And mate, this place really is beautiful. You know, it's so perfect. But is there that one little thing that you wish you might have done differently? Uh, look, it's pretty much what we're after. Uh, it probably just needs a bit of decorating and... Well, as new and as beautiful as it is, I think we've started noticing, haven't we? A couple of little yeah. sticky fingerprints. <laughs> yeah. And I bet your bathrooms get an awful lot of use, especially with two kids. They do, they yeah. do. I noticed in your ensuite, it's very glossy, it's very beautiful, yeah. but I do have something to show you in there which is going to cause a bit of a problem for you. So you're going to pull Okay, yeah. So I do like the colours you've used here, Marco. But have a look at something. Check out the colour of the grout on the wall and check out the colour of the grout on the floor. What do you notice? Yeah, the floor is a bit uh, dirty okay. compared to the walls. It is, isn't it? We yeah. see this a lot, don't we, Danny? Yeah, we do. And look, it doesn't say anything about how you live or don't live. It's just general wear and tear. It's in my own bathroom as well. And I did notice, though, there is a little bit of soap, scum and mould build up in the shower, which, again, it's not an issue, but over time, it could dull the look. I think so. Listen, we've got an idea on how to solve this little problem for you. So you might go and make us a cup of tea, don't put the kettle on, okay. and we'll have a think about what we're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, we'll right. do. Thanks, mate. Thank now I reckon, Danny, mm. I think we can restore this yep. back to its original glory for Marco and his wife. What do you reckon? I think you're right, Well, Now, if you've got dirty grout or tiles, they've seen better days, or you are renovating, there is a way to clean the space and keep it clean forever. You're not gonna need a scrubbing brush. Right, through this way, guys. Mick, how are you going? Rowan? All right, Danny, yes. this is Rowan and Mick. Hello. <laughs> now, do you reckon you guys can bring this place back to life a little bit? Yeah, most definitely. We see a lot of this. Um, we can give it a deep clean and use our colour seal to change the colour of the grout, which gives it 100% protection from stains. 
So it won't it won't change the original colour of the grout. It'll just bring it back to life. Is that right? Well, we can. We've got eighty nine different colours. We can change the grout to. This could be really useful if you didn't have the money to yeah. renovate your whole bathroom. If you just yeah. bought somewhere, you know, you get the really dirty, green, slimy mm -hmm. grout in the tiles. Can you even fix that as well? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. We do we do everything from um, just your basic cleaning, which is professional cleaning. Um, to ceiling grouts, um, even uh, replacing broken tiles. We like to restore the existing tiles and grout areas, so yeah. um, it takes away that need to completely rip it out, which is yeah. very costly. We can do it at a fraction of the price. Owning a franchise is really popular these days, isn't it? With something like this, this has probably been one of the best things you've done, I reckon. It is, I, I most definitely. It's Yes, you're running your own business, but you're not alone in running it, so the support is fantastic. The floor looks incredible. The guys at Grout Pro have done such an amazing job. This space was previously fairly dirty. It's a high traffic area, but now that it's clean and with colour seal, nothing is going to penetrate that grout. It's absolutely unbelievable. The yeah. is amazing. I see you've been true to your <laughs> name tag yeah. and you've done some styling. Yeah, can't What's help it? myself. Sorry. <laughs> Brought in a few goodies today from Basic Habitat. Just lifts the space. Finishing touches. Nice work. It's a yeah. really handy little life hack, I think. Yeah. The Grout Pro idea. Yeah. So if you don't want to renovate, if you can't afford a big renovation yet, you can bring your old kitchen or bathroom or even your outdoor area to life yeah. by getting your grout cleaned and sealed like this. And so it's not even about renovating, it's just a general maintenance thing as well. Do it when you first renovate so that it gives that added protection to your floor. Seal it in while it's clean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I think Rowan and Mick have done an amazing job today. Diane and Marco will be hugely <laughs> impressed. I think so. Now, Grout Pro are a national company, so head online to their website, groutpro.com.au, and find your nearest team. Yeah, they're good guys. They've been good to us today, so thanks for your help on that one. Yeah. I'm reckon, Danny, if this TV thing doesn't work out, <laughs> I'm gonna hit the old mate up for a uh, yeah. franchise. Gonna get yourself a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more of Healthy Homes after the break. Welcome back to Healthy Homes Australia. If you've just joined us, Earlier on in the show, we were installing a Valet Central VAC system for our homeowner, Marco, and his wife today. And basically what that is, it's, hello. Hello. <laughs> it's a central VAC system which has gone in the garage and then we've put ducted tubing in through the house and brought it into inlets, which you then connect this to and then connect that to. Well, look <laughs> at you go. I'm know. pretty excited by this. These things have come a long way in recent years and heaps of builders are putting them into new homes. Yeah, and you can obviously also, like we did today, retrofit it through the yeah. house. Pretty simple to do. Yeah. Might be able to do it yourself, but if not, they have teams of people who can come and do it for you. Okay. So I reckon... Should we put it through its paces? Let's get some <laughs> dust and grime. All right. Give it a workout. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> like we're not using <laughs> your fingers. Oh. We'll just spread it... Uh, like a bit of a weak mess. So have you noticed how quiet it is as well? It's astonishingly quiet. We can have conversation over the top of it. What? <laughs> I know, you know, the main motor is kept in the garage, which means you can't hear it. And it also means that the recycled vacuum air isn't going all through the house as well. So we've got a sweep inlet valve here, which we put in. Now that's still got a suction pipe attached to the end of it. So rather than get the vacuum out each time, yeah. you can just sweep it up to that little point there. And now what happens? Now you just kick it with your toe and watch what happens. Oh, okay. The Valet Essential Vac System is Brilliant, I loved it. Yeah. Really easy to install and so many more advantages than having a normal dusty old vacuum cleaner around the house, I reckon. Yep, I agree, Walt. I think there's a few skirting boards in this house saved. <laughs> we love the valet. It ticked all the boxes on price point and power and we can't forget about the all important five year warranty on the power unit as well. Yeah, it's very important when you're looking for a system like this, do your research. Yep. Um, we found them really nice to deal with as well. They were very helpful for today's show. So check out their website. It's valet.com.au. I 
Earlier on in the show, we decided to help Deanna and Marco find a new dishwasher for their brand new house. I did a bit of research into these machines. I ploughed through review sites, blogs and forums. They can be a very useful tool when you're looking for real customer reviews. And I think this ASCO is going to be the perfect fit for Deanna and Marco. How's it going? Oh yeah, this <laughs> is a very nice machine. Have a look at this ready, Danny. The big reveal. I might get your help on I'll this one. This. Yes, this is, I've been waiting all day to do this. Oh, look at it, it's untouched. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Have a look at that. One of the standout features for me about this is, apart from its sexy good looks <laughs> and its just sleek inside. finish, that's the features. So you know how normal dishwashers just rely on the hot plates mm -hmm. and all things inside it to dry the dishes? Yeah. Well, this thing has a turbo drying feature mm -hmm. and that helps you achieve beautiful crystal clear glasses and a really nice dry set of dishes when it's done. Should we put it through its paces? I'd love to, yeah. Let's do it. I'll stack, you can hand them down. All right. I can't believe you just placed those forks like that. Yeah, well, the thing is, Danny, they're all gonna get washed. It doesn't make any difference how you stack them. They're all gonna get washed the same. Oh, I understand that. <laughs> it's just the stacking process. <laughs> You need to fill up your rinse aid dispenser with a product like Finish Rinse Aid. The machine will dose it at exactly the right time to help you achieve shinier and drier dishes. Um, and then of course you've got your detergent, it's pretty straightforward. You mm -hmm. choose the appropriate program that you want and then before you do that you pop one of these in. I'm going to put a GoPro inside here so you can see it Ooh. in action, what do you reckon? Sounds pretty good. about ASCO and Finish these days. Definitely keep them in mind if you're looking to upgrade. Yeah, it's been good for us actually. We've had good results today and I think the homeowners are gonna love it. And you know what, we've given ASCO a pretty good rap today. Yes. So we were a little bit cheeky. We contacted the guys and we hit them up for a giveaway. We are giving away the very ASCO dishwasher you saw on today's show and a stack of finished products to one lucky viewer. You are good at organising yeah. these <laughs> deals. I, I like am. Style. So all we need to do to enter is head to our Facebook page and tell us in 25 words or less why you deserve this machine and these finished products. Can I enter? No. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> not with your dishwasher stacking skills. No, you're not allowed to Give enter. Give me a break. <laughs> we'll put all those details on our website, healthyhomesaustralia.com.au. Yeah. We'd love to see, want to see some creative entries. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be back with more of Healthy Homes after the break. Welcome back to Healthy Homes Australia. Today we are at home with Marco and Diana in their beautiful house and I just love what they've done with the garden or about to do anyway. Winter's here, have a look at today's weather. So it is time to start thinking about really getting to work in your garden and chopping down old trees, taking off limbs and of course getting your wood pile ready. So it's time to get to work. Now you know me, I love my tools and I love my toys and I've got my hands on one of the latest chainsaws from Echo and Tim is here. How you going, mate? Good to meet you. Good, mate. How now you? you're an arborist. I am. This is it. So this is you've got a top handle and you've also got this CS310 as well. Tell me about these machines. They're pretty good, aren't they? Okay, yeah, they're pretty good. They're lightweight. Um, they're quite powerful as well. Let's give these things a bit of a road test today. I want to yep. try them both out. I'm wondering. Last time we did a chainsaw segment, I got into trouble for not wearing the right sort of chaps and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, right. Okay. Do you want to show me how this is done? Yeah, sure. Think yeah. 1992. Excuse <laughs> a glow stick in one hand. <laughs> you reckon you're laughing at him, aren't you? Oh, you'd fit in well, mate. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for your support on that one. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. So we're going to take down this old fig tree because he wants to go through the garden and really fix it up. Maybe even put a lap pool in here. So this thing's got to go. Right. You want to one. You want to be cutting midway through the bar. You want to keep as far away from this end as possible. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So that's what something called kickback is. So the idea is you try and get as close to the, the engine as possible. Yeah. And that's the safest possible option. Number two is with the top handle, always make sure your thumb's wrapped underneath because if you need to use this and your thumb's oh. not underneath, you can slip off and then you're over the top of the, the chain. Always make sure the chain is running, will go over your right shoulder. Yeah. So if you're right-handed, over your right shoulder. So if it does happen to kick back, it's going to go past your body.
I think it's a great, a great little saw. Um, it is powerful and it's very sharp, so you just need to be careful. But um, that aside, I think it's a, it's a great tool. Yeah, they're fantastic. We just jumped online, went over to All Power. Their website's allpower.com.au. You've got really good information about what types of chainsaws that you need to use as well. Thanks again, mate. I appreciate it. No worries, mate. That's One me. more thing. Your girlfriend wants to know if they're going to be powerful, powerful enough to chop through your moustache. <laughs> A uh, million dollar question. <laughs> well, you guys deserve a bravery award for <laughs> having us here for the day. It's been a bit full on, hasn't it? It has <laughs> been a big, big day and we so very much appreciate your hospitality. Thank you so much for the VAC system. <laughs> That's going to come in extremely handy for all the mess you guys <laughs> made today. That's right. That's it. <laughs> it no, don't worry. I've, I've brought an apron. Walt's going to stay. He's going to clean for you. <laughs> now, if you've missed anything from today's show, just head over to our website. It's healthyhometaustralia.com.au. And do give us a shout out on social media. We would love to hear from you. And don't forget to enter our amazing ASCO <laughs> finish giveaway. Sounds good. Hey, catch you next week. Take care. Bye. Have a good one. Bye.